Next one, number six. Subscap. And scoot forward just a touch, Lori. Number B6, subscap. And what I'm doing is I'm going to put my hand on her rib cage and then slide under the scapula. Yeah? Except that I'm going to use this hand to slide the shoulder onto that. Yeah? Now I'm not trying to chisel in there or I'm not uh, gouging because it's so sensitive in there that I really just do keep the shape of the rib cage and float my hand back underneath it with a little bit of nudging from this hand to bring the shoulder around onto it. Like that. And it looks like hand on the rib cage, yeah. And it helps if I start with the arm in a posterior position because then I can just slide it all right onto that hand. And I'm in subscap. Right? How are we doing? Good. Are you pushing your fingers into her rib cage or into her scapula? I'm doing that with this hand. So you're not and this hand feeds the shoulder onto that one. Yeah? This one stays flat. I'm using this edge a little bit into subscap, but I'm not trying to gouge into that. I'm really keeping that shape of the rib cage. Once again, folding it in, starting in a posterior position, and just rolling that shoulder onto the hand. Now once I'm here, does it list some movements? Humoral rotation. Humoral rotation. So that means, Laura, you're going to leave your elbow where it is, but lift your, yes, and come on down again. So you're just going to do that kind of thing. See if you can leave this even more open when you do that. Leave this more open? This more open. Start from zero. That's open. Okay. Leave this open. Like right there. Yes, it. Is it painful, Lord? No. Question was, was it painful? She says, no. It, it can be. I mean, you got to be really pretty, find the threshold, you know, of what's right for each person. Stacy Mills, my first rolfing teacher, used to say, clouds in the armpits. That was her, you know, kind of <laughs> little image for all of us. And that's what this is like. This is like getting a little more spaciousness, a little more billowing feeling under that scap, which gets so stuck down. OK? Jill, could you have her rotate 180 degrees so we can see it from the front? Sure. Why don't you turn on over, and we'll do it the other way. Same side? Or why don't you put your head up here and we can do the other side. Is there any way to move the bottom to do this with the table? Oh, my table friend. Like that? Yes. Perfect. Is my hair still combed? <laughs> 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 okay, arm there, above, arm up, hand on the rib cage, fold it in, and then just roll that shoulder onto the hand. And then once you're there and you both sink in a little bit and relax, then she can play with movement while leaving this free. Now that, the leaving this free is the key. Because she could just pump out a bunch of movements here, uh, and it wouldn't do much. So it's really her finding a way to let that rotation happen with space underneath her scapula. Yeah, with the cloud here. Lovely. It, f it's, it seems easier on this side already than it was on the other side. Does that match your experience, Lori? Yeah. It's not really an extension and rotation. It's more like movement without muscular contraction. It's magical movement. 
so that there's just, you know, so things just lengthen when she moves, as opposed to clamping down. And she is lifting her elbow a little bit, but that's, that's just how she's finding it. What happens if you leave this heavier? Yeah, that. Good. It's good, too. It's a little different. It's good, too. Now, the next one uh, is a... There's, there's a wealth of information embedded in what is, you know, sort of uh, from the outside, very, you know, simple techniques that everyone can understand, um, but are incredibly sophisticated at the same time. So um, I think that's part of the, the, the genius, really, of, of um, advanced training's approach is, is to um, sort of reduce a tremendous amount of education and learning and know-how know -how through various teachers through the years into, you know, concise uh, and you know readily understandable techniques that are um, very powerful. Mm -hmm.